Hey guys, so we are just leaving this room and we didn't even really show it. We didn't really spend a lot of time in here, but it was a pretty good deal. It's like walking distance to the beach. It's like two minutes. But this right here was like $10 a night. This is probably one of our best deals so far just because of the location and there's so many good places to eat around here. We didn't even turn on the TV, but I think it's a smart TV that has Netflix, but we didn't even check it out. And we actually didn't use the water heater either to cook my eggs. <laughs> But they do have that. We don't really have much of a view, but like I said, we weren't really in here. Uh, but pretty good room for 10 bucks, I have to say. Nice shower. Did have hot water, so that's a plus. So this is called Ruby Hotel. If you do come to this area for 10 bucks a night, you can't really beat that. All right, guys, we just got into the car to take us to the next destination. It's actually pretty short. Here we are with the blue dot, that's in Da Nang. And then we're going to this other blue flag, and it's in Hoi An. So it's only like a 45 minute drive maybe, so it's pretty short. We made it. Here's our next location. All right, so we just made it. Thomas, very good guy. So this is our room for the next few days. Cool staircase. We're all the way to the top. Three oh three, all the way to the back. So there's our room. Cool, very nice. Yeah, right outside. Some plants and things. Cool. So this room right here is like twelve fifty a night. We have our own bathroom. TV, refrigerator, cool artwork, fan, AC, very nice, water heater. So this is what you expect in Hoi An. Uh, Twelve fifty nine is not so bad at all. So there's our homestay, Lisa homestay. We're just kind of checking our area. <laughs> we got a nice little mart there. Lots of side streets. We're just going to explore and see it's around the area. Look at that. Filter coffee, black coffee, white coffee, coconut coffee, lemon tea. All Mental, right. A little bit of everything. Smoothie mix, fresh juice, fresh mix, coconut. Cool. Coconut. So, <laughs> coconut. <laughs> <laughs> There's store. So lots of different snack options. What is this, gas? Yeah. Ah. I believe that's gas. That's unique. I've never seen it like that before. Yeah, this is really cool. Really nice stuff. Hello. Very nice things. Wow. Very colorful. Bye bye. So there's lots of different options. You probably don't even really need to book a place. You can just come here and find one on your own, but it's nice to kind of have something ready to go. That's a new construction. So this is a cool road. Lots of places to stay and the food area is coming up, the food market, which we're hoping will be some interesting and unique foods that we haven't tried yet. We tried a lot of it. So here's some of the tours that they do. Uh, you can walk around and find tours everywhere. But here's some of the... <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> Hi. So we did this the other day. That looks kind of fun. 
There's a few different things. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so there are some options to do different things. We'll see. Oh, this is similar to this one. You ride on a circle thing. Yeah, that's what we saw on the beach of Da Nang. So they might be a little bit more steady as you go through the river. But that'd be interesting to do. Wow, looks like you got a perm. It's like a teddy bear. Yeah, his hair doesn't even look real. Oh, bikes for rent. More options for tours, bicycle cooking class, Chanayam, Sanctuary. Ooh, pizza, vegetarian food, coffee and beer. Lots of lanterns. I think it's, oh, there's, he said go left. So here's our little blue dot. We're actually on the island right now. So that way you see water. And then this way is the food market. So I think we're gonna walk this way and see what's around here. It's still early, so all the choices probably aren't out yet. The night market will probably be more busy later. Wow, he's flying! <laughs> <laughs> he's faster than the motorized! Yeah! <laughs> There's some durian, durian. Those are huge! <laughs> Almost a fight. Look at the size of these. That is huge. If that's up in a tree and lands on your head, that'd like kill you. This is a really spiky. Some fresh fruits. So I think no matter where you stay around this area, you're in a pretty good location. There's lots of uh, things to see and do here. Which one? This one? Let's go see what it is. Hello! I'm not sure what this is. Maybe it's something sweet. What's inside here? Hot dog. Hot dog? Oh, okay, so it's like it's a hot dog. Wow, that looks really good too. That looks good. So a lot of these things I haven't really tried yet. Ah, oh, fresh fruits. This is what I was missing. So there's lots of different ones. Some mango. I think that's tomato. Oh yeah. Almost looks like watermelon. Look at that. Richie's looking for a balut. <laughs> I think this is, is this like sweet? I think this is sweet. So it's two o'clock right now. It's just a let you guys know the time frame. Really nice area. What do you think so far? Yeah. This is really cool. We're in another planet. <laughs> we are, yeah. Each you know, location. This is so close to Da Nang, but it's totally different. A totally different feel. So past three o'clock, I don't think you can ride in some of these places, which is kind of nice. And you can walk around at night and not worry about getting hit by a bike.
They're pretty tame. They don't even care that we're here. All right, so I think we might walk across. Here's like another banana or something. I'm definitely gonna get one of these later. That stuff looks good. Lots of stuff to try. We're excited. <laughs> and some of those look kind of new. I haven't yeah. tried some of those before. <laughs> I'm the same way. We actually haven't eaten yet. It's almost two o'clock and we both haven't eaten. We left uh, Da Nang and we decided not to eat there. But we just eat here and then we got to the room and now we're just kind of walking around <laughs> looking for some food. Hey. That's cool. <laughs> you just missed it. She did it just a moment ago and it went and went up some guy's butt. <laughs> That's cool. Can you grab some more in bed? Wow. Some more in bed? Yeah. She just twisted there. Wow. That's very unique. I'm from Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. He's the winner. It's yours. It's a prize. <laughs> Whoever it hits, you get it for free. <laughs> so we've been watching her for like only a minute or two, and it already hit like two or three people. Ooh. Yeah, very good. Very good. You try one. What is it? Yeah, mink and coconut. Very good. Yes. Mango cake? Yeah, mango cake. Oh, it says right there. Yeah, if, if I can read. Yeah. So this one's mango cake? Yes. And that one? Wait. Uh, we'll just try uh, one each. One each. One, one each. Yeah. One, one. Fifty-five. One, 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 one. Yeah. One more. One more. <laughs> no, no. Okay, fifty thousand. No, just one and one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, 20,000. 20? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Alright, so here's like the mango cake. I guess they're both... They look different though. Yeah, I'm not we'll sure which one the mango cake is. is. Hmm. It's good. It's like rice cake. This one too. It's similar to the one we tried in... Um, Hanoi. Mm -hmm. But very tasty. This one does look like rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is similar to the ones you saw in Hanoi that that lady was making. I've been noticing lots of leather places. You can really smell it as you walk by. Many different shops and food. If you like to shop and eat different kind of foods, this is your place to be. Puzzle, that's pretty cool. Here's wheel. Ah, oh, wow. That's really good. 
grasshopper, fish, fish, grasshopper, bird. Wow. Flower, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it this good before. We're just making this up as we go and there's so many different things to see and do. Look at the suit. Nice suit. Oh, the red one? All right, you wear that one, I'll wear that one. <laughs> wow. Green one's cool too. A lot of custom tailor shops here. So if you like to walk around and just look, this is definitely the place to be. We've been walking around just kind of guessing which way to go and each street it's very, very interesting. Many different things to look at. It's like window shopping. Lots of bars, coffee stops. So this part helps your liver, your gallbladder, your kidneys in the middle, small intestines. Wow. Hip, ankle, foot. Ears, eyes. Ears, eyes, thyroid, throat. Wow. Sometimes you said your eyes hurt. Your hurt. brain. You press. So right here. So it's these two. That's for my eyes. Well, you always do that when you walk. Yeah. yeah. So that's effective. She's right. This, this one right here. Maybe that's why my eyes hurt. Ah. Uh, oh. That's good for your eyes, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you feel opposite. <laughs> Then that, that's the tape, top favorite? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll, we'll try two? Yeah. Okay. Two? I'll try two. Okay, and something to drink. And then... Bon. Avocado. Okay. Alright guys, so we got the Bon Mi. It's a famous Vietnamese sandwich. It is an airy, crunchy French baguette stuffed with an ever-varying combination of meats, vegetables, and sauces. This was actually invented in 1950 in South Vietnam. And here we go. And this is only 25 uh, dong, 25,000, which is like a dollar US. So pretty good deal. Very good. And then toast a little bit too. It's a little bit of spicy. I can taste a little bit of spicy. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's mixed with papaya, with pepper, barbecue, chicken, vegetables, and egg sauce. Yeah. And 
Oh, nice. Thank you very much. Strawberry and avocado. Cheers. <laughs> Very delicious. Thank you. Wow, that was delicious. So I definitely recommend this place. Very freshly made. Thank you very much. It's very good. So they heat it up here. And they have lots of fresh bread. And here's all the different ingredients. I think that's sugar. I think that's a different kind. So you can make it any different way you want. Very, very good. So I definitely recommend that place. And that was less than $5. I think it was like $4.50. That's USA. It's a 110,000 bomb. Mm -hmm. So very, very good deal. And it actually fills you up. It's not like a small sandwich. Mm. That's a really good deal. A lot of other times we'll spend more money but don't really get filled up. So yeah. that was a good deal. I think I'm gonna try one of those balls. Alright. Wanna try one? No, I'm busy. Is, is there anything? You're busy. Alright. First <laughs> I time saying no to food. Yes, that is the one of the first times. You won't see that many times, so I'm taking notes. <laughs> but I told Richie the next time I pass one of these I wanna yeah. try. So I think I'll try. I think I think I'll try one of these. One ball? Yeah. Just one? One. Uh, five. Five thousand. Five thousand. Okay. Yeah. Yes, please, just How one. Many? Just one, please. Try. One. Yes. Thank you. Come on. All right, so this is five thousand. Really cheap. I put how much that is right here. I'll have to try one of these hot it's not hot right now but i'll see what it tastes like mm. very similar to the one we had in the food tour but without all the sugary it's like the healthy version i think that one looks like binangkal in philippines mm. the rain's starting to come down a little bit Alright, so I just have a quick question. We just kind of walked across this and there are stairs going into the water all over on every side. And I was just wondering what the purpose is that. If before maybe it was empty and they used to walk around there, but I don't think so because it was built kind of for that purpose to put water in. So it was like pre-planned. Why do they make the stairs going down into the water? There are steps going all the way down. What's your name? Huh? What's your name? <laughs> yeah. Are you the salesperson here? Huh? What's your top seller? What should we buy here, huh? Hi. 
<laughs> What's the name of this flower? See if anybody knows. Very unique and different colors. It doesn't smell good though. It looks nice, but doesn't smell very good. We found their flower section. We found a cool store. Richie's gonna look at the clothes. And over here, it's got some cool artwork. So this is a quail pancake. She makes little pancakes there and then she adds the quail egg. And that's what that is there. second then I'll take a bite so this is quail egg pancake I've never tried it this version before how does it taste very good it's not sweet it's just like a, a fried egg and the outer part is really crunchy it's like a really crunchy fried egg but it's not sweet so it's like breakfast food Flour like? It doesn't really taste like flour, it's just like uh just really really crunchy. Crunchy. But good. When I was thinking of pancake, I thought it was gonna be a little bit sweeter, but and the quail egg is very similar than to a normal egg, but smaller version. But very tasty, very good. Sure, yes. One? One, please. <laughs> so this area reminds me of Thailand a little bit more. There's lots of street food. I'm gonna get a ginger tea over here. She 
put leaf in flower petal. Mm. I mean petal. It smells really good. Wow, that's really good. Very good. I had ginger tea before, but it's not as sweet. It's really hot. Look at what you I have to put that down for a second. This kind of leaf. This one. Ah. Tea, tea Vietnamese. Mm. Tea. And then petal. And then this. Mm. Wow. Mm. All right, so this is all the ingredients. It looks like cinnamon. I think cinnamon. Uh, maybe oh, like acropole. Oh, oh. Oh, lemon. Lemon? Mm. Alright, so all this yeah. is in this cup. So that's why it doesn't really taste like the ginger. It tastes like everything, all the mixture of everything. Mm. That's very good. Thank you very much. Let me go check on the banana. Richie, you need to try that. It's very, very good. It's like ginger tea times a thousand. There's so many different tastes. Thank you. How much? Forty thousand. Forty thousand. Okay. You. Thailand. Philippines. Philippines. Yes. Looks the same. Same. <laughs> guess. Guess me. What am I? Me, uh, Canada? Uh, Canada, Australia. Uh, what do you think, UK? <laughs> <laughs> America. America, America, USA. Yeah. She thought I look, I look Vietnamese. She asked me if you're Thai. Oh really? Mm. Mm. This is the best ginger tea I've ever had, and I'm not just saying that. That's really good. Rich, are you too full for this? Yeah. You sure? This one tastes like honey. Yeah. All right. Whenever I see this, I usually always get it. If I'm hungry or not. Mm. Always good. <laughs> I'll try. Okay. I will just try. It's very hot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is this. Good. This one tastes more like a pancake. That's like a pancake mix. And the Nutella chocolate, and you got the banana. banana inside. So that's very delicious. And the ginger tea, like I said, is very good too. It tastes like hot cake with banana. Yeah, mm. and the Nutella too. Mm. The Nutella is really good. Each banana pancake is just a little bit different. Like some are really crunchy, and this one's really soft. More similar to like a pancake. All right, guys. So that was a good first day trying some different street foods. You can't beat the banana pancake, but the quail egg pancake was pretty good, even though it didn't really taste like a pancake at all. It's just like a fried egg. But anyway, we're kind of back in our area. Our place is one of these streets. But we're just going to say goodbye and we'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>